Generation after generation of stars were born produced elements for life, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, and eventually died. As it has continued to expand for billions of years, the universe has become thin and dispersed and extremely cold. Hundreds of years ago, we believed that Earth was the center of the universe. Then science proved that our planet and other planets actually revolve around our sun. Today, we know that the sun itself is but one star. Among 400 billion stars that make up our Milky Way galaxy, and that our galaxy though composed of hundreds of billions of stars can seem insignificant when we realize that it is just one among hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. Our Milky Way galaxy formed about a billion years after the Big Bang, making it some 13.2 billion years old. The most ancient stars within it are about 10 billion years old and the youngest are just a few million years old. In fact, baby stars are being born even today. Our sun is a middle-aged star, four and a half billion years old. It was born from a cloud of gas and dust, which we call a solar nebula. The birth of the sun was brought about by the explosive death of a nearby star. Shock waves from the explosion of the dying star triggered the formation of the solar system. Most of the gas and dust in the cloud went to form the sun, and a small amount collected to form rings and debris around it. Most of the material in the rings then coalesce to form planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Smaller, leftover bits of matter became dwarf planets like Pluto, asteroids, and comets. Of the eight planets, only the third planet Earth is located in a zone where life can thrive. Unlike Venus, it is not so close to the sun that water boils away, nor is it so far away that water freezes into ice, as on Mars. Water in its liquid state is essential for life to arise and to evolve. The Earth was initially very hot, and there was no atmosphere. In the course of time.